uh, how uh, all of this can relate to our issue, the case of school evaluation in Europe? Uh, of course, this is a, a work in progress, but mm, I would like to, uh, to come back to the, 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 sta the, um, the, the Euridice report, you know, and the, the kind of trend it is possible to identify uh, looking at the report itself. So, uh, I mean, uh, there are a few slides about what I call the state of the art, the current trends. If you, if you look at the report, you can clearly recognize, you know, uh, a way of framing and the discussing about school uh, evaluation and making policy, sorry, about evaluation uh, within a continuum between the market and government-based uh, logical accountability. Uh, I'm not going into depth in this because I think you are all familiar with this, you know, market-based accountability, accountability relates to, uh, it's related to policy choices and the idea is that, um, you know, uh, the, w it, it, it is the mutual adjustment within the market that will lead to the uh, improving of uh, the quality of education and the market itself, the dynamics is responsible for the quality of education. While on the other side, you know, there is the government based uh, approach. And it is interesting to, to see how, you know, different countries position along this continuum. Uh, basically, school autonomy is uh, connected to decentralization. Uh, school evaluation, sorry, is connected to decentralization and school autonomy. Uh, and here there is a clear uh, distinctive uh, chain, you know, uh, policies uh, about school evaluation uh, tends to create a, a disaggregated and then identifiable units, there is a process of individuating, units that are conceived as being strategic, uh, that are asked to embrace the, you know, the, the ethic and ethic of evaluation uh, and an ethic of improvement. Um, the, there is a trend uh, bec bec between the combination between external and internal evaluation, where external evaluators make use of internal findings. Hmm? Uh, the, 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 there are uh, policies and, and trends that uh, basically try to articulate you know, external evaluation in, term of, in terms of focuses on activities, tasks, outcomes and compliance. There is a, a procedural chain which is very recurrent uh, and is based on the, you know, the sequence analysis, visit, reporting. Uh, there is a process of uh, criteria definition uh, you know, that where the criteria are basically centralized and standardized. At the same time, uh, when it comes to uh, self-evaluation, internal evaluation, you know, which is some, somewhere uh, compulsory, somewhere recommended, uh, there is a trend to uh, enact supporting measures, specialist training in internal evaluation, use of external evaluation frameworks, indicators enabling schools to compare with other schools, specific guidelines and manuals, online forums, uh, as well I mean, a, any form of uh, advice, support, which can be a knowledge support, an expertise support, a financial support, technical support. Uh, there is a tendency toward an inclusive, participatory, dialogue-based and holistic approach. Uh, uh, school evaluation policies are related to uh, a distinct set of outcomes which are framed in as remedial action, disciplinary action, profile raising actions. Uh, now, uh, what laws of possibility and rules of existence for all of this? Hmm? Mm. As discursive practices. What are the epistemological spaces hmm? Hmm. within which dis discursive practices uh, arise. Uh, what is that is accorded the value as truth in relation to uh, educational evaluation and specifically school evaluation, as I, I was saying in this case? Uh, and later on, how 
this heterogeneous ensemble of discursive regularities uh, create the condition for thinking, acting about uh, school evaluation, its subjects, its objects and ends. Mm. Now, uh, I, 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 start, I, I would like to start from the, uh, the last uh, figure I, I discussed with you. Um, I, th I think that the, the, this in, the, in this case, in this kind of discursive practices, you know, it is possible to identify uh, a distinct statement, hmm? uh, a statement which uh, relates to a, uh, I mean, a way of conceiving uh, uh, schooling hmm? that. Uh, originates from a, a, a specific process of transference. Eh? And the process of transference relates uh, to the figure of production. Mm? And, uh, this is a transference from uh, the economic thought, from the economy. And this, uh, here the figure of production relates to uh, a distinct way of understanding uh, labor uh, and then schooling as a labor you know and here I, I want to uh, I want to build on this uh, I think we, here we have a, 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 an understanding of labor that uh, is, a, is a double to a certain extent and which is very distinctive you know of the way of, of uh, how labor is conceptualized within the economy uh, labor, in, in, uh, usually in the economy, is something which is uh, defined along a, a continuum or ba on the basis of a duality. It is, you know, an activity mm, which has as outcome a product. Mm, but it is also uh, something uh, which re relates to energy, a toil, the effort, you know, of uh, the worker. And, uh, and in this second uh, meaning, uh, labor is something which is uh, uh, sold uh, on a market and within a contractual relation. Hmm? Uh, in the, I mean, in the, in, the pre in the first sense, labor is, is it's something more impersonal, you know? And it relates to an activity with which as its effect as as uh, as its effect you know the the creation of a product but a course through a way a distinct way of organizing uh, the means of production and and i think when in in, in this statement what we it is possible to to recognize is exactly you know uh, this kind of representation of the process of schooling as a, a, a process which is a process of production and where what is involved is, is labor as an activity, you know, which has is out, is outcome the creation of a product. And then at the same time, you know, the involvement of an, a, an investment of human beings in terms of energy, toil, you know, and uh, efforts in order to uh, reach this product, to create this product. And uh, and you know, this I, I, I think that uh, the, the, it is this kind of understanding, this, uh, this kind of conceptualization that creates the, the possibility to think, you know, evaluation as a sort of mode of empirical inquiry that produce judgments about the value of things or entities. You know, because it's exactly labor uh, and the quantity of labor that, that define the, the value of an activity, of an activity which is a, an activity of production, the creation of a product. You know? uh, and here it is interesting because you know, there is a, 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 um, the, the, the possibility for imagining an, a form of empirical inquiry where you know, 
value is a product of a product of specific form of production which is related to how the means of production are organized to a certain extent on one side but also the the kind of uh, the, the the quantity sorry of work in terms of energy toil you know efforts that are put into this production and this is a, a duality through which you know uh, evaluation models continuously uh, oscillate if you think about you know the the, the, the kind of model and approach that are uh, put in um, put in practice uh, enacted uh, and this creates also you know the possibility to think distinct uh, and specific ways of interventions because in, because insofar you know the value of uh, of the, this process of production hmm, is uh, can be defined in terms of you know a distinct organization uh, sy systematization of the means of production of course you know uh, uh, it, it become possible to think about uh, monitoring and evaluating uh, in this way you know and of course the uh, uh, a, a distinct uh, figure of the the idea of production in the economy is that you can uh, continuously uh, increase you know uh, uh, the, the efficiency of the process of production and this is you know very well uh, visualized by this line you know and uh, and this creates the possibility to think about a sort of reflexive uh, process that analyze assemble reassemble uh, the means of production in order to you know create uh, better products which is to increase the value of things the worth of things like schooling uh, and another interesting thing is that you know uh, all the, the statements that we have discussed uh, analyzed before in terms of you know uh, the announcement of quality uh, prevention and failure again uh, uh, this is, uh, of course, a, a, a possible reading, but can find they, they, they condition the lo laws of possibility uh, uh, within, you know, the transference of ana another, another idea from the economy. And uh, the idea that, you know, uh, this uh, process of production occur within an economic game, an economic game where, you know, the actors who are investing labor in terms of toil, uh, energy attempt to increase the production face a continuous situation of scarcity. You know? They are facing a continuous situation of scarcity where you know, the, uh, there is the possibility to reflexively um, turn on the means of production in order to increase the efficiency. Hmm? But this is not a positive uh, game. You know, and uh, at all, and so I mean the uh, the risk of failure is always behind the uh, the door to a certain extent, and and so I mean the, this create you know the, the possibility to conceptualize the homo evaluandus and the homo evaluandum like uh, an interesting. Uh, uh, face, you know, of the homo economicus, some, some, someone who is uh, perpetually driving, uh, striving, uh, struggling against failure, you know. A and this is the, if you, if you think about this, this is the, can be uh, interpreted as one of the law of possibility, the rule of existence. On um, a bulk of discursive practices about school evaluation. <coughs> and you know, working on the means of production, you know, uh, just just try to reread re the uh, this definition of evaluation uh, in this light. You know, it is a systematic and critical analysis of a defined subject that includes the collection of relevant data and leads to judgments and recommendations for improvement. You know what I what what I see here is you know the the need to increase the effectiveness of a process of production uh, through a, 
uh, reflexive turning, you know, a systematic and critical analysis of a definite subject, which is uh, how labor occurs and where labor is uh, the organization of uh, a distinct organization of the means of production and at the same time the kind of fourth toil energy uh, that people put into this uh, uh, process of production. Uh, and of course they ca this can be projected on various subjects, schools, school heads, teachers and other educational staff, programs, local authorities and so on. Another distinct process of transference, uh, education systems as, li as living systems, I've titled here. Because if you, if you look at this, kind, this way of re representing, visualize, you know, uh, the holistic approach of the OECD, uh, uh, where this kind of representation uh, find its laws of possibility and rules of existence? My, uh, my reading, my suggestion is to think about this in terms of transference of the concept of living system <laughs> from biology. Hmm? Uh, uh, here uh, we have a, an organicistic understanding of living systems. You know? the, the idea of the concentric um, uh, circles is quite uh, clear in this respect. I mean, living systems are made of uh, uh, are are an uh, ensemble of organs uh, that are uh, put together and or that works together under the sovereignty of a, of a plan, of a function. No? And, and here, uh, you can, and they, of course, they are in a, in a relational communication with an environment. Mm? An environment when they face continuously uh, the, the risk of death. You know, and the, the game at stake is one of surviving. Uh, and, and, and of course, I mean, you, you can uh, 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 decompose uh, each of the organ of the living, si of the living system uh, in terms of units. And these organs are put in a si systematic relation. They are, uh, there are systems and subsystems. They are organized. The another concept is one of organization, which is closely transferred from biology. And, you know, or organization uh, means a way of systematically, uh, this, the, this uh, a systematic disposition of organs, unities, uh, within a frame uh, that, is, uh, that relates to the sovereignty of a function. And the func function is defined in terms of the effect uh, that the living system is going to produce. Uh, try to, uh, mm, to, to think about you know, this visualization in these terms. Uh, here, of, of course, you have a, 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 a living system and different subsystems, and you have the organs you know, of this. Uh, you have the, the function that is defined in terms of effects, uh, improving student outcomes. Uh, you have uh, 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 the condition of the environment where the living system uh, is, is placed and with which the uh, living system has to confront with. You know? And again, the idea of the failure come back, uh, this time not in terms of the failure of production, but failure of being able to accomplish the function you know, and to survive to a certain extent in the biology, bi biology terms. Um, and it is the transference of the, that idea of uh, you know, living system and organization and the, the possibility to disaggregate in terms of organs uh, up to the cells, you know, as micro units, that create also the possibility as a procedure of intervention in terms of analysis, you know, self-reflection on uh, and intervention on the on this living system to introduce, you know. Uh, anatomy as a procedure of intervention. And, and of course, if you think about, for instance, the, suburb, the World Bank suburb model, when they say collect information, classify, analyze, provide uh, a, a feedback, here you have you know, the idea of an anatomy of the living system. Huh? Uh, and, and, you know, the, the, here there are 
some distinct uh, st uh, strategies, which is an anatomic disarticulation, uh, the production of judgment on the effectiveness of the functional units and their disposition within the living system. And interestingly enough, uh, using the visible as indicator for the invisible, because you know, uh, organization, uh, uh, the organization of a living system is something which is not visible. Mm? It's something that you have to, to grasp, to discover, and to, to make visible. You know? And so in, in, the, in, the, in this work of anatomic uh, 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 analysis and anatomic disarticulation, you have to try to bring the invisible to the, to the, visibil to the, 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 the surface of visibility. Uh, you know, and think about uh, mm, how you know, the uh, evaluation procedure uh, mm, reason in terms of the indicators in order to decompose the processes and recompose, making them visible. It is a process, a process of, you know, uh, an attempt of uh, unveiling something, something which is not visible. Analysis, diagnosis, curing, achieving. Uh, I'm, I'm going to skip some of them because uh, I, I want to go to the, the end. Uh, <coughs> but I, I think you can, I mean, e easily try to recognize the kind of argument I'm, I've made uh, in relation also to the other uh, figure I, I presented before. Uh, now, uh, uh, some, some concluding thoughts about, you know, uh, the. the which is, uh, according to this kind of analysis, or what can, could be uh, uh, regarded as, according to this analysis, the epistemological space of school evaluation. You know, w what is interesting here is that uh, if you uh, share the kind of uh, analysis uh, I have presented, uh, we, we should recognize that uh, school evaluation hmm, and the discursive practices of school evaluation, this, the recurrence of a distinct set of school uh, evaluation discursive practices, find their condition of possibility in, in an epi epistemological space, which is in between, you know, two poles. On the one side, we have, you know, the attempt uh, of the, with, that come from the mathematical, the physical science, you know, to produce an account of reality as something which uh, they, they can be ordered uh, uh, according to a, a mathematical formalization, you know, the, a, a project of mathesis to a certain extent. On, on, the, uh, on the other side, you know, you have the sciences of language, life and production, uh, read uh, economy and biology in this, um, in this, kind, in this, in this uh, uh, case. Uh, that tries to make sense uh, of reality, starting from uh, some distinct but different epistemological figures. You know, and it is in in between uh, of these epistemological spaces and in the relation between the two uh, that it, it is possible to uh, identify the epistemological space where the discourse of school evaluation has emerged. Uh, which you know, uh, which it's it's quite I inter interesting if you share this point because you know sometimes uh, very usually we, we tend to relate uh, the, uh, the issue and the recent trends in schools evaluation uh, to the processes uh, to, uh, and projects of mathematical formalization, and but you know this is something which is in dialogue and in relation to something else, I think. Uh, and you know, the, uh, to a certain extent, the, the 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 shift that we recognized before in the in the field of school effectiveness and improvements, uh, it's it's a quite interesting you know uh, account of uh, how the such kind of dynamics, uh, epistemological dynamics, can be uh, identified in the way a distinct uh, disciplinary field uh, evolves, and. 
I was I was saying before, you know, the science of uh, labor, the science of uh, life, language, uh, labor, uh, and if you want to understand uh, school evaluation and this, the epistemological space where school evaluation uh, emerged, we have to refer to some uh, epi key epistemological figures that are at the basis uh, that are create the condition for the emergence of that sciences. And here uh, I will try to, you know, uh, to fix some of them and show how they can be used in order to uh, create, to uh, uh, the limit is not the right word, to, to outline, you know, the uh, epistemological space where uh, uh, discursive practices about school evaluation uh, emerge. This is what I, I call it the quadrilateral of school evaluation. Uh, I think that uh, if you think about, you know, uh, the, what we have said about the transference of concepts from economy or transference of concepts from biology, uh, we have addressed it from very different uh, sides, but a, a set of distinct epistemological conceptualization. The first, you know, is the existence of something which uh, we, can, we name as man, hmm? which is uh, a, a figure that is determined, you know. It is determined uh, by something which is exterior to it. Hmm? Uh, and as far as it is determined, it is uh, also uh, fallible in when it comes to the space of school evaluation, uh, which uh, means in the, in the case of economy is facing a, a, a situation, a, a, a hopeless struggle uh, uh, toward, uh, with scarcity. You know, in the case of uh, biology, is uh, st uh, facing a hopeless struggle toward uh, confronting to that. Uh, at the same time, we have uh, a, a, a double here, we have a paradox, because this uh, uh, figure of man, which is the object of analysis, intervention, uh, uh, articulation, rearticulation, disarticulation, and so on, uh, is also uh, understood as a, a figure which is, which is an unlimited capacity of knowing this determinate ob object and this activity. Hmm? So, you know, th this is what uh, Foucault in the order of things calls an empirical transcendental allotrope. You know, it is a paradoxical figure of knowledge because it, it is determined, determined by an exteriority Mm? Uh, it is uh, in a condition of finitude, uh, uh, which in the case of evaluation uh, means fallibility in this case, but it, it is also a, 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 a figure which is able to reflexively turn upon itself and its activity and, and bring, you know, uh, to the field, to, to the visible something which is uh, invisible. And, and th this is, I think, the, the, the core, the key issue uh, uh, that comes uh, to the front when, you know, uh, evaluating, the, that is the uh, analysis that brings to a judgment, to the value, to the worth of something, which is the activity of this uh, 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 empirical transcendental allotrope, uh, become a, a distinct figure of the enlightenment uh, in enterprise, you know, and here, you know, enlightenment is a, 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 has a double meaning. Uh, it is the, uh, the, the 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 bringing to light the the knowing, you know, and this it is the transforming. And uh, and of course, this relates to you know a, an ethical uh, point, uh, an, an ethical point which is. Uh, th this become possible because we have the promise of a fulfillment, <coughs> which in the case of evaluation becomes effectiveness of improvement, but which is something that is uh, linear, progressive, evolutionary, and potentially infinite. You know? 
and, and of course you can, you can uh, uh, identify the paradoxical relation with the, the first pole of the, the quadrilateral, that is the determination of man as a fallible uh, subject. And I mean, this is uh, uh, my, my proposal at the end, as, as a, you know, a, an attempt to map the epistemological space where this course of school evaluation uh, raise, emerge. Uh, now, very briefly, uh, and if you want, I, we, we can discuss this uh, uh, later, uh, later on. Uh, uh, just to uh, uh, a, a small uh, uh, note, uh, try, to, try to relate this to the, the table that I presented you before about ontology, ascetics, the ontology and teleology. Because to a certain extent there is a, a parallel between these 